have a few more people that might join as we go along, but we're going to go ahead and get started now. It's a little bit after 10. I uh, just wanted to welcome everybody to the Mission Speak today. We're going to be highlighting our um, upcoming mission trip to Moldova in May, May 5th through the 15th of 2023. We, our team just got back from a trip to Moldova at the end of July, beginning of August. It was a tremendously productive trip. Um, I'm going to share with you a little bit about it. Uh, Helen led that team. Chuck and Helen aren't here today. They're uh, leading the team to Israel uh, right now. They're in Israel, so we'll lift them up in prayer later as we pray. And uh, the team there, I'm sure they're having an awesome time of ministry, so... Um, I want to welcome Anna today. Anna, if you'll give us a wave or say something, you'll have to unmute your, your microphone. Uh, that way everyone will know who you are. You're, uh, she's um, with our partner church, uh, Victory Church there in just now, Moldova. She's going to be sharing with you um, today or, or interpreting. Are you going to be sharing or interpreting for Hello, everyone. I'm Sarah. I was trying to help Pastor to come into the uh, meeting, and probably he's trying, but it doesn't work. Uh, could you send me once again the link so I can share it? Uh, do you have the link that I sent through Facebook? Uh, yeah, and I've sent him this link, and he can't, I don't know why he can't log in. Because hmm. uh, it's I can share, but I think it would be better for our pastor to share about the work we've done. And I'll translate for him and for you. Okay. Let me get it for you. Hang on just a second. Mm -hmm. um, Jack, are you there? Yes, I am. Okay. While I get the link for Anna, will you, you can share a little bit if you'd like. Yeah. About uh, our last trip there. Right. Yeah. Uh -huh. sure. yeah. All right. So uh, we, like Denise said, we had a team um, go to Moldova at the end of July earlier this year, and they were able to do some fantastic children's ministry um, with some Ukrainian refugees, um, some of the local people there um, passing out like food bags. Uh, the local church that we partner with there uh, does an awesome, awesome ministry where they basically pack up food, I believe every Thursday, correct? Um, where they... Uh, give basically a week's worth of food to Ukrainian refugee families every Thursday um, to make sure that they're fed and they, they have enough food for the week um, every single week. And our team was able to help with that um, as well as share the gospel with uh, some of these refugee families, some of whom had never really heard it before um, and heard it for the first time. So it was an amazing, amazing chance to, get to uh, share hope with some people who desperately need hope in this time. Um, and uh, will they, do we know if they're going to be there next year, the refugees or like they might be, um, which would be another amazing, amazing opportunity if they are uh, to just reach out to some people who desperately need hope right now um, in this crazy, crazy time. Amen. Okay, Anna, check the um, messenger for the link. See if you got it. Uh, again, I'll share a little bit more too about um, the mission trip there and what we would hope to see, um, you know, happen as well on our next mission trip there. So uh, one thing that they, the team really took a great deal of a joy in taking a part of is the children's ministry. So there were uh, on this last trip about uh, a little over 60 kids uh, that they hosted a camp for sort of like a vacation Bible school. And so many of the kids that came were Ukrainian family kids, refugee kids. Uh, some of them were Moldovan, but um, many of them heard the gospel for the very first time in their life. And so um, this particular mission trip would be great to have some people who are geared towards children's ministry um, to be able to come prepared with, you know, games and activities and even puppets or 
uh, just uh, crafts, things that uh, we can incorporate into the curriculum and incorporate into the gospel. And, um, teaching them worship songs and dances and all of that stuff is a lot of fun and a lot of the kids will be uh, impacted greatly uh, through the children's ministry outreach. Um, there's also, we're also planning to do medical clinic outreach. And so as the uh, refugee families come to pick up their food packs, we'll be packing uh, food supply packs and they'll be invited to come pick up their food. And at that ministry event, the missions team that it will go will be able to share their testimony, a short uh, gospel message. Um, many of the uh, ones that came this last time to the food distribution outreach accepted Christ there. Um, others signed up for our medical clinic and our women, the women's conference that was put on uh, by the church that we helped. Uh, so there's um, multiple opportunities to, uh, you know, touch the hearts of these people as they're coming to pick up food packs or coming to the medical clinic or, um, you know, being ministered to at the uh, women's conference. Most of the Ukrainians, uh, the refugees there are women and children because it's, uh, you know, they're not allowing the men in Ukraine to leave. So most of them are women and children. And so there's a really important ministry opportunity to the women um, there just to kind of uh, minister, especially to their emotional needs, just kind of love on them, let them know that, um, you know, Christ is there for them and wants to meet them where they're at. And so that's a special ministry. So if you're geared towards um, ministering to women uh, and children, uh, there's also opportunity to minister to the men in the drug rehab center that the church has started there. And so um, if you feel called to minister to, um, you know, people facing or overcoming addiction, um, the, there's a really powerful men's ministry there, a drug rehab ministry. So um, if you're a medical professional and uh, a, a physician or a nurse, uh, we're going to be seeing patients, um, prescribing medications, handing out uh, vitamin supplements, much needed, and just kind of um, using that as a tool, as an opportunity to also share the gospel, pray for people, uh, pray for healing in their bodies, and uh, just bring them uh, to the knowledge of Christ through that outreach as well. So it's a really packed full mission. Uh, so we have children's ministry, women's ministry, uh, drug rehab, men's ministry, and um, medical clinic outreach. So um, really, it's a, a very well-rounded mission trip. It encompasses a lot of different aspects of ministry. And um, what uh, we really love is our partnership there with uh, Victory Church. And just now, this has uh, been a beautiful orchestration that the Lord has put us together with this church. And we're really excited about continuing to work with them and um, we're excited about the follow-up that we see, you know, just the people that we're reaching out to and ministering to, they'll be um, extensively followed up with through this church. And, um, you know, we are uh, in I the process. Hello? Hi. Denise, sorry. Hello. I would like to translate briefly for Pastor, if it's possible, because he doesn't really understand English. Yeah, go ahead. Welcome. Всех приветствую, and, всем привет. I welcome everybody. Hello, everyone. У меня были проблемы, uh, чтобы подключиться. I had some troubles to make connection with you. Но я с вами. But I'm with you. <laughs> Finally. Пастор uh, um, Денис коротко делился о том, что какую работу они проводили в Молдове о детском лагере, женском служении, о служении для реабилитационного центра mm -hmm. и также о работе с uh, беженцами. Mm -hmm. okay. И говорили еще про клинику, которую они проводили. Ага, ага, супер. И я а, oh, okay. я, я, я готов слушать дальше. I'm ready to listen. Okay. Uh, well, I, I'm done sharing. If he wants to share and expound on mm -hmm. any of mm -hmm. 
the ministry that will be able to take part in there. And uh, if he wants to share a little bit about the impact that our team had, uh, just uh, mm-hmm. this, then uh, we'll listen and then uh, we'll do a, we'll pray after he speaks. Денис коротко поділилася о том, яку роботу провела команда в нашій церкві, а їх участі, але вона спрашивает, хотіли ли би ви теж щось додати, поділитися опитом, який був в кінці июня. Ага. Що мені дуже, дуже подобається робота команди. I really liked the team job. Дуже... Ну, рад тому, що Бог відкрив такі э, контакти і можливості сотрудничества з э, братьями і сестрами з Соединених Штатів Америки. I'm really glad that God has opened the new doors and made connection with our brothers and sisters from the USA. А також обратив увагу, що команда она может работать на, в разных направлениях, и это очень полезно и назидательно для церкви. I've noticed that this team is able to work in different, uh, different uh, ways, and this is really encouraging and helpful for a church job. Короче, это такой был духовный спецназ. <laughs> it was like a spiritual warrior in our uh, country, in our church. <laughs> да, и мы ждем, мы ждем дальнейшего сотрудничества в, в сфере работы с беженцами, с детьми, и, конечно же, ждем мая месяца, когда будет команда опять в Молдове, чтобы we... вместе сделать работу. We are waiting for the continuing collaboration with the team. We are waiting for May to come to work together, especially with the refugees. Thank you. So uh, this team that we took to Moldova in July was a team of all women. And um, they also, um, they uh, weren't necessarily prepared to uh, do the the children's ministry, uh, you know, like a full on children's camp. So uh, the ministering to the men at the the drug rehab center and the kids, um, all of this was done just you know, the Holy Spirit met uh, the team and, you know, just empowered them and equipped them to minister um, in some very unique ways. And so uh, we actually also didn't even have a a provider for the medical clinic. We had uh, several nurses, but uh, so it wasn't an ideal situation to not have a provider for the medical clinic and to have um, no men on the team, but uh, it didn't stop the ministry from happening. Uh, The Holy Spirit was still able to accomplish great things uh, there on that trip, but we want to make sure that this next trip coming up, that we have some gentlemen on the team to help minister in that regard, uh, especially to the men's ministry. And then also we, we definitely uh, would love to have several providers help to be able to accomplish more through the medical clinic. Этот случай, когда у нас вся команда состояла из женщин, очень единичный, потому что в нашей практике, в нашей практике и команда из женщин, по сути, не была готова к работе с детьми в лагере или работе с реабилитантами, но в то же время Бог он являлся обеспечителем и он сверхъестественным образом их направлял и давал благодать. И также Денис поделился тем, что они хотят и надеются, что в следующем году в их команде, во-первых, будет врач, потому что у них в этот раз даже не было врача, были только медсестры, и в следующем году они хотели бы видеть также в команде врача, который нес бы ответственность, и э, хотя бы несколько мужчин в команде, которые смогли бы послужить. Да, мы, мы тоже ждем этого. We are also waiting for the man in the team. А, но на удивление Бог явил благодать и... Бог использовал сестер для мужчин. 
Mm -hmm. But in a miracle way, in an amazingly way, God uh, used his grace and he used the team of women to serve to ministry to these rehabilitation center men. Так что, братья, мы ждем вас. So, brothers, we are waiting for you. Amen. Amen. Pastor, I want to introduce you to one of the gentlemen on this uh, call, Louis Minjavar. He's uh, planning to join us, uh, God willing, on this mission trip. So, we already have one <laughs> man who is uh, desiring to go and uh, help in this ministry. So, we're believing we'll come equipped with uh, several more as well. Пастор, мы хотим представить вам одного из членов команды, которые уже будут в мае. Это Луис, вы можете видеть его здесь. Так что один мужчина, как минимум, у нас уже есть, и мы надеемся, что в дальнейшем Бог обеспечит нас необходимыми людьми. Да, будем рады, будем рады. Вам понравится Молдова. We are glad and we are sure you like the Moldova. All right, we're going to go ahead and start off uh, praying. I'm going to have Jack lead the prayer, um, and then each of us can take some time praying if you'd like. Just make sure that your microphone is muted while someone is everyone. Uh, this microphone is muted while someone is praying, but then if you would like to pray, just unmute your microphone, and then uh, after the prayer, we'll just wrap it up. So um, I would, uh, uh, I'm going to ask uh, Jack to start off the prayer for Moldova, for our team there, um, and then uh, Pastor, I would ask you uh, at the very end to, if you would pray for us and our ministry and uh United States, we would really appreciate that. Uh, we'll wrap up. Okay, go ahead, Jack. Mm -hmm. Сейчас у нас будет пару минут, где, когда мы будем молиться, и Джек поведет в молитве за эту поездку в Молдову, за их команду. И в конце Денис говорит, что если пастор, у вас есть желание uh, помолиться и благословить также команду, которая ожидается. Okay. 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 И еще нужно выключить микрофон, пока мы молимся. Когда вы будете молиться, можете его запустить. Lord, we just lift up uh, the nation of Moldova before you today, Lord. Father, we just thank you for uh, them stepping into this gigantic role with the Ukrainian refugees um, to step up as a nation to help take care of them, Lord, in their time of dire need. Father, I thank you for the church and what they're doing with the refugees, not just feeding them physically, but feeding them spiritually and sharing the truth of your gospel with them fearlessly, Lord. Father, I pray that they continue to do that. Lord, give them the strength and the endurance that they need uh, to do your work that you have laid out for them, Lord. And we thank you for them being harvesters in your field, Lord, overseas right now, Father. And Lord, I pray for this team right now, Lord, that those you have already laid the nation of Moldova on their hearts, Lord, I pray that they continue to come in droves to join this team uh, so that we can have just everybody that you have, you have willed to go on this trip, Lord, will go, Lord. Father, I pray for uh, more men to join this team, Lord, that you have called, your word calls the man, the leader of the household, Lord. So I pray for husbands, to lead their wives in this way, Lord, to go on a mission trip, Lord, to lead them spiritually and show them the importance of going and making disciples of all nations, Lord. Father, I pray for just everyone on this team, Lord, that you continue to just stoke their hearts right now, Lord, that you stoke their hearts for Moldova, you stoke their hearts for missions. And for those who are unreached or around the world, Lord, for those who have never heard your gospel before, Lord, and that everybody that just is is thinking about going here of the amazing opportunities that we have here to share the gospel with those who have never heard it before lord and the wonderful wonderful work that will be done lord father i pray for undeniable signs and wonders done in the name of jesus on this trip lord so that those who see and those who hear cannot deny that you are the one true living god and Lord, we ask all of these things in the mighty name of your son, Jesus.
Господь, я также э, благодарю Тебя за эту миссию, братьев, сестер, которые открыты э, к Твоей воле, к тому, что Ты хочешь совершать. Э, God, I also thank you for these brothers and sisters and this mission, for these people whose hearts are open to fulfill your will for something that you want to do. Благодарю тебя, что ты соединяешь нас в своей воле. Thank you that you gather us into your will. Благодарю тебя, что у тебя есть благодать и помазание для того, чтобы совершить все, к чему ты нас призываешь. Thank you for your grace and anointing to, to fulfill everything that you call us for. Я молю тебя о предстоящей предстоящем служении в мае и в служении на протяжении всего этого года. Я молю тебя о том, чтобы ты дал нам мудрость и направлял наши шаги во имя Иисуса Христа. And Lord, we pray for the ministry, for the world following ministry, and for the whole year that is coming. Please uh, let your uh, wisdom be upon us in the name of Jesus Christ. Во имя Иисуса Христа, Господь, я благословляю миссию, и я благодарю Тебя за Твою великую благодать. In the name of Jesus, I bless this ministry, and we thank you, Lord, for your grateful mercy. Amen. 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 Uh, Lord, we just thank you, God, for um, just everything that you're doing, Lord, um, here and overseas. Lord, we bless the ministries, Lord, overseas, Lord, Moldova, the church, the staff, the leaders, the children, those who come near and far, the refugees. Lord, we're just praying for um, just an outpouring of your spirit, God, to fall mightily on them. You said it's not by might nor by power, but it is by the spirit of the living God. So, Lord, we're just praying, God, just that you would do the impossible, God, because nothing is impossible to you, God. That if we even have a um, faith the size of a mustard seed, Lord, that that is even enough. So, Lord, I just pray, God, um, just for all of the team, Lord, thank you, God, for those you have already caught. And I pray that you would stir the hearts and affections of those, Lord, who are um, just thinking about missions, that you would open their hearts wide, God. Um, you said that, um, that the harvest is plentiful, the workers are few. So I, I'm praying, Lord, to the Lord of the harvest, that you would send your people, God. Lord, just uh, rain on them, pour out, God. Lord, we thank you, God, that you, you chose to partner with us, that you could do all this by yourself. But Lord, it, you, you gave us this opportunity to, as your children, as your ambassadors, Lord, as co-heirs, to be a part of the kingdom's work. And it's exciting and it's awesome. And we just thank you. We bless your holy name, Lord, today. So Lord, I just pray, God, for um, just all of the people, God, in Moldova. Lord, I pray that you would be their hope. You will be their trust. You said, blessed is the nation who trusts in the Lord, whose trust is the Lord. So I just pray, God, that you are their hope. You are their peace. You are their joy. You are their salvation, God. I pray, God, even for um, just provisions to be supernaturally available, God. Lord, that people would start giving and, and just pouring out, God, into this ministry and into the land. Lord, bless this land. Be with them. Guide them. Lead them. Thank you, Lord. Father okay. God, we come before you. I'm sorry, this is Debbie Stapp. Do you want me to wait? No, go ahead, Debbie. Thank you. Okay, I had to get on late. I had a hard time getting in. Father God, we come before you right now on behalf of all your precious servants in the United States and in Moldova. We thank you, Lord God, for your mighty move that you have already done, and we expect an even greater one this time. 
We thank you, Lord God, for your heart, for your people, and you said your love never fails. So we ask you to wrap wrap your love around all these teams and the people in the refugee camp. I have served in the refugee camps before, so I know what it's like. So we thank you, Lord God, that you're going to give them new beginnings, new ray of hope, new faith, and that souls are going to come into the kingdom. And we give you all the glory, honor, praise, and thanksgiving, Lord, for what you're going to do on this next mission. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you guys so much. Uh, Judith, it's good to see you on. Louis, uh, Perry, and Deborah. Thank you so much, Anna, Pastor Sergey. Thank you guys so much for joining us and joining us in prayer today. And um, we'll look forward to seeing you guys um, on our next mission speak. You guys have a great day. We'll see you later. Спасибо за участие. Увидимся в следующей поездке. Okay, okay. Thank God bless you. you. God bless. <laughs> Blessings. Okay. God bless you.